Division R of Company Q has a thousand employees. What is the average annual salary of the employees at Company Q? So just to be clear, we have we know we have a thousand employees in Division R. We have no idea how many employees there are in Company Q overall. How many of them are outside of Division R? So that thousand could be. The, the majority of people at the company, the company might have 100,000 employees and Division R is a really tiny part of the company. We have no idea. So statement number one tells us simply that within R, we have an average salary of 30,000. All right, well, that's interesting. So we know the average inside of Division R but outside of Division R, we have no idea how many employees and we have no idea what they make. So this statement by itself is simply insufficient. Now statement number two, very important that we forget about statement one and, and purely focus on statement number two. The annual salary of the employees at Company Q who are not in Division R is 35,000. So all these folks who are not R, they have an average salary of 35,000. Well now, this is telling us about all the people who are outside of R, but we have no information about the people inside of R. And so again, by itself, this statement is insufficient. So now we're going to combine the statements. And what we have is we have these two groups. We have R and we have all the people who are not R. And R these folks have a salary of 30,000, and the folks in not R have an average of 35,000, and we'd like to know the average overall. The problem is, we know we have 1,000 people in R. We have no idea what the size is of the group not R. There could be 1,000 in R and another 1,000 not in R, or there might be 1,000 in R and only 5 who are not in R, or there might be 1,000 in R and 10,000 or 100,000 who are not R. We have absolutely no idea how the size of the not R group compares to the size of the R group, which means we are not able to calculate a average salary overall for everyone at Q, which means that even when we combine the statements, they are insufficient. Answer choice E.